In a previous video, we went over the workings of the Tire Pressure Monitoring System, or TPMS, what the warning light or lights mean, and what we want to do about them. Here we will go over the actual tire pressure checking and inflation processes and offer some equipment tips. We'll start by checking the tire pressures. If you already have the pressure information on your instrument panel, or if you are comfortable that the pressure change is due to colder outside temperatures, you can skip ahead to filling the tires. There are lots of pressure gauge choices out there. We prefer to stay away from digital readouts since they are dependent on a working battery. This tried and true gauge works perfectly and fits neatly in a glove box. Any gauge with a mechanical dial will do as well. Tool in hand, you can find what air pressure your tire should be set at on the label below where the driver's door closes to the car, as you see here. Note that the front and rear tires could require different settings. Check the tire pressures when they are cold, meaning that they have been driven on for less than a mile in the previous few hours. Remove the small cap on the tire valve. Save it. It doesn't keep air in, but it does keep dirt out. The valve itself keeps the air in. Press the open end of the gauge onto the valve with enough force to stop air from escaping. With this gauge, read the result along the barrel. Here are a couple of air pump stations. You may need some quarters or to have an attendant activated. You may not run across this old style, but like many, it allows you to set the pressure and stops when that pressure is reached. Go ahead and trust what you've set. It will be well within the proper range. We will use this style that has a gauge built into the handle as shown, and the pressure can be checked as you go. Press the hose onto the valve, again with enough pressure to keep air from leaking from the tire. Squeeze the trigger. If you hear hissing, the hose is not properly seated. No hissing is good. The air is going into the tire. Release the trigger and the pressure gauge pops out to show where you are. Read along the barrel, just like the gauge we used previously. Continue until the pressure matches what was found on the doorpost label. Note that if you are using a pump with a preset pressure, Airflow will begin when the hose is pressed to the tire valve. Repeat this process for all the tires found to be below the optimum pressure, and you'll be set to go. For more useful videos and information on automotive warning lights and push-button start cars, check our channel here on YouTube or go to dashboardsymbols.com.